Lacey Chabert is one of my favourite Hallmark actors and I'm currently trying, not very successfully, to learn Italian. So I was really looking forward to Christmas in Rome because this had all of the hallmarks of a really fun romantic Christmas film. And I'm pleased to say I really liked it. It wasn't as incredible as I thought it could have been, but I still enjoyed it. This was released in 2019, directed by Ernie Barbarash. And, of course, we have Lacey Shipper as our protagonist, Angela, and our male love interest is Oliver, played by Sam Page. And it does have the pretty typical Hallmark formula of girl meets boy, girl spends time with boy, all against the backdrop of Christmas as their relationship grows and encounters pitfalls along the way. And what makes this unique compared to most Hallmark films is that it is set in Italy, it's set in Rome. And straight away that gives us a very different vibe. We get to learn about certain Italian Christmas traditions, which is not something I knew about. They do speak Italian in this occasionally, um, which is something that I really appreciated because, as I said, I'm trying to learn Italian, so it was testing my knowledge. But if you don't speak any Italian or if you have no interest in learning Italian, it doesn't matter. You will follow this completely. It is only a tiny amount that is spoken in Italian. In terms of how Christmassy it is, is very festive. We're talking Christmas trees, ornaments, lights. It is quintessential Hallmark Christmas. It is beautiful. With regards to the setting, obviously being set in Rome, that was something that I thought was beautiful. I'm not sure exactly how much of this is filmed in Rome. According to IMDb, some of it was actually filmed in Bucharest, Romania. But some of it was filmed in Italy. I imagine a lot of the indoor scenes were not filmed in Italy. But if anybody knows exactly how much of this was filmed in Rome or Italy in general, please feel free to share that information. I'd be very interested to know how much of it is genuine Italian architecture and how much of it is fabricated in a studio. So the only thing that's left to discuss, of course, is the relationship itself, which is always... on. I was going to say it's always in the foreground of Hallmark films, but it's always in the foreground on par with Christmas. Sometimes Hallmark films will do the Christmas aspect right, but the relationship will be boring. Sometimes the relationship will be interesting, but the Christmas side is maybe not as strong as I'd like it to be. And then there are films like this, where both take equal attention. And I actually really enjoyed it. I find that Oliver was not annoying or obnoxious, which sounds like I'm stating the obvious. But sometimes the male romantic leads, usually the males, occasionally the females, but the male romantic leads in Hallmark can be a little bit irritating. And it's usually down to the female to show them the error of their ways. And this is not the case here. I found that Sam was actually, or Oliver rather, was likeable from the off. Sam Page as an actor was very likeable in this role and Lacey Chabert as Angela I really really enjoyed. So for me this was a very nice Hallmark Christmas film. It hasn't rocketed to one of my top 10. I will probably watch it again at some point but it's not one that I will rush to see again every year. If you haven't seen it and you like Hallmark you will enjoy it. It is quintessential Hallmark and it is something that I think you will find very enjoyable, very festive. Any time of the year I watched this in July. So I'm not the kind of person to wait for December to watch Christmas films, but I think it's something that you can watch whenever. But certainly at Christmas, if you're struggling to get into the Christmas spirit, this one may do a good job at helping you there. Christmas in Rome may not be perfect, but it still ticked every box. It's still one that I really enjoyed.